Hey guys, my name is Sankazo and today I want to show you the project I've been working on for the last couple of days. And this is a ALU, so an arithmetic logic unit with which is one of the uh, key parts of an actual computer. And I thought a lot about how I want to showcase this and I came con to the conclusion that an advanced tech demo doesn't quite cut it for me so I decided I want to show you guys how to build this this thing and this is the actual redstone and I want to post a series of tutorials uh, which explain every single part of this and of course explain how the parts work together and let's quickly show you what the possibilities are with this ALU so it has memory handling for two memory cells and you can copy something from this workspace into the memory cells and read it out again. You can invert this workspace, uh, do a bitwise AND of the contents of the memory cells and you can of course build the sum of the two memory cells and then of course you can bitwise manipulate this working space. So for example, if we would like to add 20 and 6, which is 16 plus 4 is 20, let's copy that into memory cell 1, then reset our working space, and let's add 6, which is 4 plus 2, copy that into our memory cell 2, wait a couple of seconds because the adder takes a little bit of time while we do that. Let's just hit the sum button here and it should give out 26 which would be 16 plus 8 plus 2 and this is exactly what happens. And now if we would like to invert this we would have to press this button and we would get the inverted signal right there. And we could of course also do a bitwise AND of the contents of the memory cell which would just give the 4 right here, like that. And yeah, that's basically all the operations uh, ALU needs, absolutely needs to be capable of. For the tutorials I will probably add a few more operations like a compare operation and a, what's it called, um, bitwise shift. So uh, a left shift, which basically just shifts every bit by one position. And yeah, probably a few more things. And of course, I will continue working on this and turn this into an actual computer because I've already got one of the main parts. The two parts I'm missing are uh, memory handling and RAM and a program handler with a... Um, program counter. And yeah, this is basically it for this part. I hope you guys like what I did here and if you did, please leave a comment, rate or subscribe and I'm looking forward to see you guys in the first actual tutorial. See you guys there.